Yeah, now it's shooting straight. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to shoot bullets out of a gun. So the first thing we're going to need is a first person controller. Uh, go up to your hierarchy. No, I lied. Go to your project. And go to the magnifying glass right here and just type in first. And if you have it, it will pop up first person controller. If you don't, we're going to have to import it. So, I don't have it in this project. So, let's go to Assets, Import Package, and let's import the, uh, let's see here. I believe it's going to be Characters. And just import all of it so there's no errors for this demonstration. All right, everything's in. Now I'll go back to your project, magnifying glass, type in first. And you'll see that the first person controller folder popped up. Double click the folder. Uh, what the hell? Okay, go to first person controller and go to prefabs underneath it. And you'll see first person controller prefab. Prefabs usually have the blue cube icon. And just drag it into the scene. Oh, I gotta have the scene open first. Okay, and let's put him at zero on the X position on the transform. Zero on the Y, zero on the Z, so it can be easy to find him. All right, and let's go to game object, 3D object, cube, and the same the cube our gun so gun all right and let's um, drag the gun object over the first person controller object so now it's a child and the first person controller is a parent now we're going to scale this down a bit so go to right here and we're going to click the fourth one going from the left and then you'll see that uh, this pops up so on the Mac you can hold down the option button then hold down the left click mouse button and you can rotate around alright now we can drag this down on the Y axis. Okay, and then we can shrink it in by doing this. And then we can rotate it with the Option key and the left click button on the mouse. And let's make it skinnier, more like a gun. Let's drag it out of the way so we can see our first person controller. Alright, he can be bigger actually. So let's make it bigger. Let's see what he's. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Alright, just check your game. You should be able to see the game object. Where is the camera? I 
here's the camera. Here we go. Alright. So just drag the camera behind the uh, gun object. And we're just going to make it look like a first person shooter. So now when you push play, it's still not there. Oh, okay, we have to look down. Okay, well. I don't want... Head bob, footsteps, walk speed. Mouse look, maximum on the Y. Maximum X, X sensitivity, Y sensitivity. And why don't they have a maximum and minimum Y direction? Uh, wait, there's your body. Let me freeze the Y rotation. Make can still do that. Okay, well, turn the sensitivity to zero. Let's see if that helps. Okay, so now I can't look down. I don't really want to look down for this demonstration. So just go to your mouse look script on the uh, first person controller script and set the Y sensitivity to zero. So we don't have to worry about all that for this. We're just trying to shoot a, a bullet out with a gun. So let's... Uh, raise up our gun you switch to the game scene and then click on your gun you can raise it like this so you can see what's actually happening here you go and then just drag it over a little bit on the X here we go that's what we want Actually, let's. I'm all over the place on this video. What if I do like 0 0.4 on the Y sensitivity? No. I don't know why it's. Oh, the... why is it? Oh, we don't even have a. Uh... We have to add a support for our character. We don't have that. So let's go to um, cube and let's just call it ground. And Put it underneath our character and just make it bigger. I'll say uh, 100 by 100. Let me give it a different material by going to create material. Call it ground. And then change the color, uh, give it a green color, and then just drag the material onto the ground object. That's really bright. Okay.
and our players should not fall. First person. Okay. Alright, so we're going to set the uh, Y sensitivity back to zero. Okay. Cool. Alright. And now let's uh, make another cube. Just uh, duplicate the gun object and call it a barrel. And let's make it smaller. And just kind of stick it in your gun to make it look more similar to a gun. Okay, cool. And the uh, gun looks kind of boring. So create a material for your gun so it doesn't just look white. Um, death one, I'm just going to change the color of this. And then I'm going to change this one and give it silver on the barrel. Okay. Oh, you can't even see the barrel. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you can see the barrel or not, you just need to have it so the bullet will come out of it. All right, cool. So we have a gun. We're kind of moving around. So now we need to make, well, actually, we, okay, a script to make it uh, shoot the, the the bullet out of the uh, the barrel. And um, we're gonna need to make a bullet too. Let's go to game object. We'll shoot a cube, it's fine. And call it bullet. Let's, uh, it has a box collider. Let's add a rigid body to it, a component rigid body. And it's not using gravity. And let's just leave it like that. And now we're going to go to project, create prefab. And call it bullet. And Let's make the bullet a little bit smaller. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Let's see what this looks like. All right. And shooting white bullets are kind of boring, so let's give it a different color. I'd probably make it yellow or something. So, create a new material. I'm just copying mine. Okay. It needs to be smaller. 0.1. Zero point one. Yeah, 
that'll work. Cool. Now, it's important when you're creating a new prefab to set your positions 0, X, Y, and Z. Okay, and then drag your object into the prefab that you made. Bullet. And now you can take the bullet off of your level and it's stored inside the project folder as a prefab. So now we can create a script. Create C-sharp script. And let's call it um, 